It's Rob! Yay! I think we need to find his pieces or something. She does look like gum. Is there a reason to charge that attack? Oh, right. If you don't charge, it doesn't ricochet, right? Not that ricochet is super useful in this one. It's definitely not as useful as Beam was in, um, in uh, Kirby's Adventure. Um, yeah, if it's relevant to chat, I actually I forget if, I have, if links are enabled. Wait, somebody sent a link earlier, so yeah, I think they're enabled. Pyramid! I loved going into the pyramid in Superstar because of this level. Oh. I think I like this level better than the Super... or not Superstar. Kirby 64. No! Sorry I'm being so paranoid about it, but I really do want to get it all ironed out eventually. Like, as soon as possible, not eventually.
I don't get why Meryl's gonna be like if Meryl is fro is very why not Pikachu? You know, just screw everything up. I don't know. I mean, Meryl is really just you know water Pikachu. I'm not sure if there's actually any trick to what I was doing there. Okay, that was top right. We got top right down. Wait, Clefairy isn't fairy type? Clefairy has to be fairy type. It would be completely ri completely ridiculous and stupid for Clefairy not to be fairy type. Is the trick that there's really still a door here? No, it's not. Arrgh. I forget what the gimmick is with that one. I know I need the lightning, or not the lightning, the the light bulb for one of those, for one of these. Oh yeah, this is totally the one. Okay. See, I'm not crazy. Despite being disappointed in fairy type, I'm still getting the next Pokemon. Um, I pre-ordered Y. It was six bucks off on uh, Nougat, Newegg today. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to pick, but then I realized, okay, the Y legendary is almost certainly a dark type. It looks pretty cool. The X type, the X legendary is like a fucking deer, and it looks stupid, and it's probably a fairy type. So, screw that. I usually pick um, games based on which color is cooler, or you know, which gem, or you know, whatever. But, in this case, was I supposed to not jump through the red? Oh, oh, no, I remember the challenge here. Yeah, the X one, the X legendary is stupid. No, go down! I don't really get the X and Y thing unless, I mean, the obvious thing is chromosomes, but that's kind of weird because that sort of makes it boy and girl version, which is dumb. And the colors are sort of inverted um, gender stereotypical colors, like, I think X, wait, yeah, X is blue and Y is pink, well, pinkish red, it's not pink, it's lightish red, yeah, I don't know, I hope it's not like suppose intentionally gender based, because that would be stupid. Oh, I guess on uh, gra like on axes that would make sense. Yeah, the Mewtwo form looks stupid too. And I mean, I'm not usually one to be all like, "Oh my god, Pokemon was so much better when there was only 150." Um, like there are some things I don't like about the new Pokemon games. Like, it's generally completely infeasible. Where in in the first Pokemon game, and to a lesser extent, in um, the second generation, it was entirely possible to, you know, get through everything. You know, to get through, or er, not to get through, to um, get on all 150. Oh, I need Ku, or do I need Pitch? 
But yeah, with all of the event Pokemon and all of the bullshit and all of the, you know, a generation not actually having all of the Pokemon you need, you know, so you need to trans, or you need to import Pokemon and all that crap. That has gotten really annoying, but I mean, I never really. Oh, I need Kine here. Okay. Let's go back and get Kine. So I'm not I'm not a Pokemon curmudgeon, but I still don't really like Fairy type, and the Mewtwo form looks stupid. And I'm not a big fan of the forms in general, really. Yeah, we're building Rob. I had no idea who this robot was supposed to be for years. I've never actually seen a Rob. Like, I mean, I've seen them on the internet, but I've never seen a real thing. I think they could have changed... well... I don't know. I think they could have changed weaknesses and stuff before they added a new weird-ass type, in my opinion. Like, they could have made it weak to dark type or something. I mean, why not weak to dark type? Why not Zoidberg? Oh, I think I need Umbrella. Yeah, I need Umbrella. That's a clever little puzzle, because you wouldn't really think about not being able to make that jump until you try it with Kine, and then you're like, oh, shit. Sorry, I can't control the ads. Wait, so does it show ads while the video showing, or is it just pre-roll? Because I thought Twitch just did pre-roll if you're not a um, partner or whatever. Which I'm not, by the way. I don't have remotely enough subscribers to be a partner. Um, I don't know about weakness change changing the meta type or er, the meta game. Um, if they just introduced a type and they didn't change any Pokemon, that wouldn't change the meta game very much. But it sounds like they're going back and they're fucking up a whole bunch of Pokemon, so that's gonna change the meta game anyway. So you know, whatever. Also, the meta game looking at it from Smogon isn't actually all that complicated. Because 90% of Pokemon aren't, you know, good tier. You know, that tier where it's not banned, but it's not, you know, crap. There's like... I think there's like 10% of active Pokemon in there. I hope Fairy's weakness is dark, because I generally have dark Pokemon and I want to beat up Fairy Pokemon. I assume maybe fighting? I don't know. I think there are better ways to debuff. Um, debuff dragon than, you know, weird type changey crap. Do I just need pitch here or what? Not even sure how we got on Pokemon, actually. Okay, let's try Pitch. Ugh, I'm sure I used to remember what to do here. Wait. Early game Dragon. That would kind of defeat the purpose of what they're doing, don't you think? Like, they're probably gonna barely input, like, barely put any dragons in. Come on, pitch.
I can't come on the horde battles. I actually, I didn't actually watch the trailer for the Pokemon thing. I got the Nintendo stream late. I did see, what did I see? I saw Smash Bros, which I'm gonna get. And I mean, I'm not the biggest Smash Bros fan, honestly. Um, but I mean, I would get it for Mega Man anyway. Um, what? Okay, does someone remember how to do this? I don't want to have to look this up. I think I need Koo here, right? Does he need an ability? Because I couldn't fit here through... I couldn't fit here. Do I need a specific ability with Koo? Fire. Oh. Wait, I just had fire. Okay. I sort of like that this level, it lets you, you know, play around with all of the abilities and do all these puzzles and, you know, there's really no pressure other than you need to not die too much. Well, even if you die, really, you can just come back. You just need to not get a game over. Which would be kind of embarrassing. What? So I need rock? Okay, I guess I need rock. Hi, Nitro, by the way. Who's got stone? I think he was on the left. To his movement. No, he was totally not on the left. I love Koo's expression when he's holding the Kirby rock. It's like, damn it, Kirby. All right, the last piece of Rob. Well, that took an incredibly long time. Sorry, Koo. Another one. That one. We're not in water. These guys! These guys are kind of creepy. The tongues and everything. Come on, faceless thwomps. I got shit to do here. I got deadlines. So is the audio still completely in sync to you guys? I can't believe nobody mentioned that. I, I have no idea if the the stream was... Well... The stream must have been off, because, I mean... The YouTube exported file was also desynced. And that was, like, live... That, that was copied straight from Twitch. So I would think it was the same as what aired, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I just really want that to not happen in any future streams.
Whee! Thanks, not Dr. Light. Aw, oh, close. 